So, how's work been treating you? Well, not bad. I'm just ridiculously busy. It's odd. You'd think things would be a bit quieter now that all my patients seem to know what's wrong with them before they've even seen me. Ah, yes. The internet has a lot to answer for, eh? I'm getting patients coming to me saying, Doctor, I've had this cough for five days now. I went on Wikipedia and I think it's probably stage two lung cancer. I get that with my patients all the time. A detailed self-diagnosis. It's so annoying when they're actually right, isn't it? Well, that doesn't happen often. I think the internet's giving patients this illusion of knowledge. But what if technology actually helped them look after themselves a little better? How do you mean? Well, we all know patients with chronic conditions tend to slack off with their treatment. Medication can't do much if it's not taken properly or left in the packet. But why stop there? Lots of the big healthcare issues, things like obesity, diabetes, COPD, lots of these chronic conditions are caused by lifestyle over many years. What if we could reach patients before they become patients? Now that's the kind of patient empowerment I can get behind. We can but dream. No need to dream. Technology is constantly getting smaller and quicker. Everything is connected. The fact is, it's a whole new area of healthcare to explore, beyond all the pills. If technology could help people live more healthily, perhaps they'd worry a little less, to be less strain on health services, and we'd get more time to stay on top of everything. I suppose the big question is, who's actually going to make it all happen? Now that is a very good question. <laughs>